In this video, I'll be sharing three tips on how to make Robux in Please Buy Me. It's been a while since I made the five do's and don'ts in Please Buy Me video on the channel. That video actually came out very soon after the game was released and a lot has changed since then, but the core strategies haven't changed much. So tip number one is to figure out what your hook is. Please Buy Me is a game that can be played a few different ways and figuring out where you fit into the economy of the game is the first step. The majority of people watching this video aren't going to have a content creator badge or even a YouTube or Twitch account with a decent amount of viewers, a verified badge, or sought after avatar items that make your card look better. These are all things that make it way easier to earn Robux in this game. But what if you don't have any of those things? First of all, I want to mention that ever since the update that introduced the heart badge came out, tons of people have been looking for cards with 30 fame or lower to invest in so they can make progress on that quest. So if you have 30 fame or lower, keep your cards at a reasonable price and you will get some Robux very quickly. I'm always buying people's cards when they have 30 fame or lower because I'm trying to complete the quests, but I tend to buy those cards for between 6 and 10 Robux personally. But there are people who have a ton of Robux who sometimes buy them for a lot higher. I actually did a test with an alt account that had zero fame and I put myself AFK overnight with 5 cards set to 6 Robux each and one card in my showcase set to 100 Robux. That way, the 5 cards that were set to 6 Robux would get me 30 fame if they all got sold. And if somebody did want to come along and buy the 100 Robux card, well, you know, they could do that. Now, I wasn't expecting someone to actually come by and buy the 100 Robux card, but surprisingly, this actually worked, and I ended up with 130 fame. Fuzz also tried this on his alt account, but he wasn't able to sell the 100 Robux card, but he did sell the others, so your results may vary. Either way, the odds are pretty good that you'll be able to get at least 30 Robux, earn before tax because remember you get 60% of the robux from your sales. That's definitely a lot easier than it used to be because a lot of people would sometimes go days or even you know more than a week without making a single sale. Okay so back to figuring out about your hook. If after getting your initial sales from people looking to buy 30 fame or lower cards you're still struggling to sell your own cards you should probably evaluate whether focusing on fame is the right strategy for you. If you're in this situation where you're not a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, you don't have sought after avatar items, or you're not a well-known developer, I would honestly stop focusing on trying to get fame and just focus on server hopping to find good deals on high fame cards from other people. I do this regularly and oftentimes will find people with high fame selling their cards for decent prices that I can then flip for more Robux afterwards. Recently I came across a guy with 60,000 fame who was quitting the game and selling his cards for 10 Robux each. I bought as many of them as I could, deleting game passes as needed, and was able to flip them for 45 to 50 Robux each. I bought 9 of his cards before running out of space and after selling them all off, I made over 200 Robux in profit. So if you're an average player, these are the types of things you should do instead of focusing on fame in my opinion. So tip number 2 is to have like-minded friends. Okay, so you're saying, but Fizz, I want to have high fame even if I don't have any of the things you mentioned. Well, the only advice I can give you in this case is to have like-minded friends who play the game. Make sure that these are people you trust because there are people out there who will scam you by doing this the method that I'm about to tell you. I said this in a previous video, but if you have trustworthy friends and you both have Robux, buy each other's cards to increase your fame. I know people also like to do this with alt accounts, now I'm not going to endorse that, but if you do have other people buying your cards and you buy their cards, you can increase your fame quite quickly, especially if you have a lot of Robux to spend. As an example, let's say I have a thousand Robux and my friend also has a thousand Robux. If I buy their card for a thousand and they buy my card for a thousand, we both get 600 Robux after tax, after the pending period passes of course. We'll both then have a thousand fame. After we both get our 600 Robux, we both again buy each other's cards for 600 Robux. We now have 1,600 fame after pending, and then we'll both receive 360 Robux after tax. If you keep doing this over and over, you'll have over 2,000 fame by the time you're done. Now, whether it's worth doing this or not is entirely up to you. Personally, I still think it's not worth the effort just to inflate your fame. It's better to focus on fame if you know that people are going to naturally want to buy your cards because even if you have 10,000 fame, if your cards don't stand out in any, any way compared to a YouTuber or a dev who has 10,000 fame, it's still going to be really difficult for you to sell your own cards at a decent pace. However, if you do focus on what I said before and just try and buy and sell other people's cards for a profit, you will have a good source of Robux coming in. And if you want to use some of that to increase your own fame, then that's up to you. So tip number three is to be active in the community. 
Artifact, one of the devs of Please Buy Me, said this in the Please Buy Me Discord server to someone who was asking how to make Robux in the game. And I totally agree with what he said. It's fine to AFK when you're not playing the game, but when you're playing, find lively servers where people are chatting a lot. You'll meet new people, which feeds into the previous tip of finding like-minded friends. You can also join community Discord servers where people post the cards that they have for sale or help each other in other ways. There are people out there who are looking to help others in the game, so finding communities like this is a good way of potentially getting yourself noticed. Here are some tips that I've mentioned in my other videos. Make sure your cards stand out. Invest in a good booth and an eye-catching card skin, and make sure that your booth sign says something that will attract other people's attention. There is also a custom card skin, and I have a video that explains exactly how you can do this. But if you're not willing to spend the Robux on the custom card skin game pass, and just stick to the good booth and the eye-catching card skin for now. Another tip that I mentioned before is don't beg and don't spam in the chat. This really holds true for any donation game and I don't want to really beat a dead horse about it, but yeah, just don't do things like that. The other thing is to keep your prices reasonable and don't buy cards that you'll have trouble flipping after taking the 40% tax into consideration. So I've seen a lot of people buy a card for 100 Robux and then sell it for 130 Robux. So you're not really actually making Robux here, you're actually losing Robux. So make sure you take that into consideration when thinking about buying a card. Think about how much you are going to sell that card for after you buy it and be able to make a profit. And then also think whether someone else who comes along is going to look at that card and say, oh, this is worth it for me to buy and will actually buy it. If you don't think that you're going to be able to sell it for the price that it requires for you to make a profit, then don't buy the card. Simple as that. Unless you just want it for show, then that's a different story. But this video is about making Robux, so keep that in mind. If you haven't seen our complete guide series on Please Buy Me or the five do's and don'ts video, you can check them out in the cards on the screen now. Don't forget to join the Fizz and Fuzz Discord server and our Roblox group. We have a lot of great discussions in Discord especially. Links in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching everyone.